So here's a quick update on my Lister engine project. Um, well, this is a 6.1 uh, JK Sun Lister engine or Listeroid. It's a copy of the original Lister engine. Um, I've so far I've put a radiator, which I got from uh, someone on Gumtree. This came off a Daihatsu Charade. Uh, I've just got like a dodgy overflow bottle at the moment. Stainless steel drinking canister, works pretty good. Um, so that's just freestanding there. Uh, finally got around to bolting the alternator on. Had to replace the crappy original Chinese bearings out of it because they're just absolute crap. And that was a pain in the horse. Uh, but I finally got that done. Ended up destroying the brush holder bracket. So I had to manufacture another one of those and drill and tap everything. And, uh, um, and then put in the pulley on. Um, it's actually like a tapered bush that sits in the center of the actual pulley. And you do up these bolts and it pulls it towards it. And it creates a nice tight fit. So I guess this shaft might be slightly larger than it should be. And um, so as I was tightening them up, you, know, you got to tighten them up one at a time. Um, this third one decided to shear off, so that's as tight as it's getting for now. Um, I might buy a couple of high tensile bolts and try and do it a bit further, but if I do, there'll probably be no hope whatsoever of getting it off again. So, um, I built my own little, I think they call it a dog box, uh, which sits on top of the alternator. Uh, in here we've got a switch. This just turns on and off the field power. Um, so if that's in the off position, uh, it won't generate any voltage at all. It's just kind of like a nice handy way of actually turning on and off the output without having to flip a breaker, without having to switch any um, LV or 240 volts. Uh, inside here we've got a automatic voltage regulator. It's a GAVR6, uh, I think. Six amps. Um, also in there I've got like a little 9 volt battery and this button over here. So when I hit the button, if there's no residual magnetism in the field, um, this will actually give it a boost and allow it to start generating. And then once so once that's once you've applied the voltage from that, it gives it just enough output voltage to power the AVR and it sort of just cascades from there. Um, I've got this nice bit of flexible exhaust pipe. Uh, the stuff's not cheap over here, and um, I, I kind of made up a dodgy LPG tank exhaust pipe. Didn't really work too well. It kind of muffled a little bit, but I don't know. I might have to I might have to do something else with that. Um, what else we got? Uh, there's a bit of a leak in my fuel line at the moment, so I'm just waiting for a new one. Um, aftermarket fuel filter. This is a really good addition. Um, also, another thing I'd recommend for a lot of, a lot of the Listerite engines is a new fuel tap. Um, so it uses a tapered fit uh, thread. I'm not sure exactly what, what it is. I don't think it would be NPT. I think it would be more, um, is it BSP or BSPT tapered? Um, maybe even SA. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't leak anymore. That's great. And uh, yeah, so I've bolted the alternator down some on some uh, slots. I'll tell you what, that was a real pain to cut out. It's about, I think it's about 10 mil thick, these I-beams. And I used a grinder to sort of cut into it a bit. And then I used a jigsaw. The jigsaw blades said that they were good for three millimeters, but um, uh, they worked right on ten mil. It made that uh, jigsaw work pretty hard, <laughs> but it was all good. So yeah, that's all in there now. Um, I might weld on a plate at the back, and you can have like a little screw in there, so you can actually uh, screw that in or screw in the bolt, and it'll it'll push it forward and tension up the belt, and then we can get it nice and even, and then you just tighten down the bolts at the bottom. So, yeah, next thing I need to do is pull this flywheel off. I've got to make a really good key puller still. I smacked this one in and it's just not coming out anymore. So, 
But uh, see here, when they put the flywheel on, they didn't leave a gap. And uh, rubs on the TRB tapered roller bearings. The seal on there, which is not good. So it'll chew that away in no time. So I haven't really been running this thing that much. I've been just sort of just prepping it and getting to a point where I can run it. Uh, I'll probably get a different air filter. Yes, I know this one's on upside down. I just wanted to put it on there to see if it made the intake any quieter or not. But yeah, I'll probably have a better air filter than the original one. So I think it just sort of sucks, sucks the air through your bath of oil, which is not a very good way of doing it. It really doesn't filter the air very well. And it's better to have like an oil, uh, oil foam filter or whatever it's called. So, yeah, well, anyway, that's that's where we're at at the moment. Uh, there's a couple of test GPOs on there. Um, I've just set this up temporarily, but. Of course, I will be putting a circuit breaker in there as well. Um, probably like either a 16 or a 20 amp circuit breaker. This is a 7.5 kilowatt alternator, but the Lister is only of the 6 horsepower. So, uh, if it was actually producing 6 horsepower output, we might be able to get 4.4 kilowatts, I think it works out to be. Um, so, you know, you want to you wanna have your circuit breaker slightly lower than that, maybe 4 kilowatt, um, because otherwise if you load up your, if you load it up too much, I think it'll just pull down the RPM rather than actually trip the breaker. Normally the circuit breaker, unless you, unless you have like an instantaneous short I guess, will trip it on magnetic because otherwise you have to exceed the current by quite a bit for, before a breaker will trip on a thermal trip. So yeah, anyway. Um, the only other thing really to talk about is the the frame itself. This is uh, four caster wheels on there. The two at the front actually rotate, so I can move it around. And it works pretty well. Um, the frame itself, all up, I calculated weighs probably just over 200 kilos. Um, and this engine still hasn't been fully balanced yet, so I've started it, attempting to do some balancing on here with some fishing weights. But it'll pick up this trolley no problems at all um, it's a it's a beast even though it's only producing six horsepower yeah it's ridiculous so hmm anyway let me know what you think so if you have any questions cheers